What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and this video is all about Tesla's upcoming cyberpunk pickup truck that I know many of us in the electric vehicle community are super pumped about. This video is just a speculation video, some things that I think the truck will have based on what I know about Tesla. So let's jump in. For interest sake, we created uh, a pickup truck version of the Tesla Semi. It's a pickup truck that can carry a pickup truck. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> By the way, this is, you, you can legally drive that. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't be legal, but um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you will actually be able to legally drive that with a normal driver's license. It's kind of wrong, but I like it. Elon Musk is extremely excited about this pickup truck. In fact, most recently on the last earnings call, he said that this is the best looking Tesla product that they have ever designed. And this has got me really excited. I have been a little bit hesitant about getting excited about this truck since he's said that this is going to be a cyberpunk sci-fi truck and he's sort of set the expectation that he's not certain that everyone is going to like it and if people don't, that they'd make a more traditional looking pickup truck. I think he's really downplaying this and I think that he knows he's got a chart topper in his hands with this pickup truck that people are actually going to really be crazy about. So. I wanna talk about some of the features that I think it will have. And let me just set the expectation that this is speculation. There's no inside information. This is just a fan and a supporter of Tesla dreaming about what the truck could look like and what types of specs there are. So let's start off with the battery size. I think that they'll offer two variants, 150 kilowatt hour and 200 kilowatt hour battery packs. Of course, the larger one will, will include a performance variant, but I think it's going to offer some range between 400 and 600 miles using Maxwell's new battery tech. If we consider when this launch will be in November of 2019 for this pickup truck, we've got to sort of estimate that it would take about two years to get it up to production. This is using the Model Y timeline that now they've moved up. If you recall, they launched this vehicle in March of 2019. And on this last earnings call, they said that they expect for deliveries to begin in summer of 2020, which is actually a really quick timeline. So is it possible that this pickup truck could come in 2020? Maybe, but I'm gonna say 2021, maybe mid-year, Mid to late 2021 is when we're gonna see the pickup trucks hit the road in consumers' hands. That being said, I do think that that is enough time for Tesla to take Maxwell's technology, integrate it into their battery cells and battery production, and use it for the pickup truck. I would expect nothing less than a 250 kilowatt charge rate for this pickup truck as well. This is a new vehicle built off of a new design and battery architecture. I don't expect for it to have the top-end 200 kilowatts that Model S and X get currently. What about towing capacity? This is one that I went back and forth on and ultimately decided that it will have a towing capacity of 10,000 to 20,000 pounds. You know what? I'm going to go with my gut on this one. I may be totally off on this, but originally I thought 20,000 to 30,000 pounds. To me, this seems like something Elon would do. I can't imagine that Elon would let this pickup truck be on par with gas variants. To me, it seems like he'd want to just top it and really make an emphasis on that. For the performance version of this pickup truck, I think the zero to 60 miles per hour will be sub three seconds. This is in line with Model S and X being under three seconds. I know that Model 3 is just a hair above three seconds. So to me, it seems appropriate for the price point that this be sub three seconds and just below any other performance pickup truck out of the water. What about horsepower? I think that this truck is gonna come in somewhere between 800 and 1,000 horsepower. You gotta believe that Tesla's going to want to top Rivian's performance specs of 750 horsepower with their vehicles. What about motors? I think 
think that this one will have four motors. This will be the first time that Tesla has introduced four motors to a consumer vehicle. Of course, if you know a little bit about the Tesla semi-truck, it does have four motors as well. I think that they'll just transfer that over since they have been testing this extensively and especially at high mileage. So that being said, I think that Tesla will leverage all of the testing that they've been doing for the semi-truck and just roll it into the pickup truck and guarantee a million miles out of those four motors. One other thing that I would really love to see is a panoramic windshield. Maybe not as big as a Model X, but maybe something bigger than a traditional truck windshield. And I think that it will have Tesla's armor glass. This is something that they touted when they did the Tesla semi-truck reveal. This essentially takes the Tesla solar roof technology that they've developed and rolls it into an automotive product. During the semi-truck event, Elon Musk joked around that this glass would survive a nuclear blast or your money back. Actually, what's important here is uh, by nuclear survives a nuclear explosion or you get a full refund. Okay. Full refund. Um, the, the reason this is important is because uh, tr truck windshields are huge and they crack about once a year. Um, and if the truck windshield is cracked, you're not allowed to drive. So it actually it's truck off-road if you have a cracked, cracked windshield. And that, and that means lost revenue, disappointed customers, it's a terrible, it's a terrible day. And you, if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, it can take ages to get a, to get a new windshield. So actually this, 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 detail, uh, this detail matters a lot uh, to, to someone who really is, is, understands trucking. Um, it's, it's, it's small but very important. I think that he's probably using that a little bit tongue in cheek. It's not nuclear proof, but he's using it to make an example that this windshield, this technology, this glass that they developed, will be virtually indestructible and will have some sort of million mile guarantee or something really bombastic like that. When is this event going to happen? If I was just gonna take a wild guess in the dark using previous events, it's probably going to fall on a Thursday at 7 p.m. And if this event is going to be in November, I'm gonna take a wild guess that it's not going to be during Thanksgiving week. It's probably gonna be the week prior, which means that it would be November 21st, 7 p.m. What are your thoughts? Do you think that this is gonna happen in November? What do you think about these specs? Is there something that you would like to see in the pickup truck that was not covered on this video? Sound off in the comments down below. Sean from All Things EV, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you're a regular, one of the least expensive ways for you to help me out in this channel is to share, like, and subscribe. So please do that now, and I'll catch everyone on the next one.